stage one entry burn startup. All right, so this 20 second burn has just begun. And you can see that there on the left hand side of your screen. If you look closely, you might be able to see those grid fins actuate to assist. Stage one, entry burn shut down. Steering of that uh, stage one, and as you just heard, shut down of that entry burn. That is the Let's first of. Continue to follow nominal trajectories. That is the first of two burns that that first stage will perform today. Good news there that both vehicles are are following nominal trajectories. That landing burn will take place in just under a minute. Because this landing is a drone ship landing instead of a land landing or return to launch site landing, uh, there's only two, borns, two, excuse me, two burns required for this landing attempt as opposed to three. Because, it, the, because the first stage follows an arc, uh, there is no boost back or entry transonic. There is no boost back or flip maneuver required. So only two burns being executed today. Everything continuing to look nominal there with the second stage as it carries our stack of Starlink satellites. And that landing burn out there we have a shot of the drone ship holding position in the Atlantic Ocean. Landing burn startup. And there we can see the lights beginning to illuminate the platform and the waters around. Stage two is under terminal Stage guidance. one, landing leg deploy. Okay, let's see if we're able to stick this landing. Looks pretty good. There we can see the first stage has landed. This marks the, this marks the 74th successful recovery of an orbital class rocket and the fifth recovery for that particular booster that you see there. So that's all great news for the first stage.